Hey, hello guys. So I just finished uh, to do that uh, ship there. And now I'm in the process of destroying it. Because I need to get it in half before going to like a uh, texturing and stuff like that. So it's going to be like in the background, cut in half with a big explosion and uh, the little like uh, swordfish uh, ships uh, passing through. It's really a like, complex illustration I'm doing there, but a lot of fun. So right now I'm concentrating on that kind of a big spaceship trying to find a way to just create like some uh, illusion of like there is something inside. This is totally all over like, right now. So let's start with uh, extract. Hey, hello Java. Yes, I am. Bonsoir, Mokarina. Yeah, there is even my face there. Yeah, but je vais, je vais rester en anglais, désolé.
Ah non, on peut faire plein de choses en... <coughs> dans une brèche. Vraiment plein de choses. Et généralement, je me sers de ZBrush plus pour faire du, retouche, euh, du retouchage euh, de, mes, de, de mes mèches. En... Attends, je vais montrer ça. Ça, c'est ce que je fais dans euh, 3ds Max. Et après, then I go in, uh, in uh, the brush to just do like a dynamic and uh, do like uh, the uh, detail pass, basically. So I'm just doing like uh, debris and stuff like that for like uh, the, the ship that is just exploded in two, uh, two sets. Hello, big, uh, big shoes and I'm. Well, see, it's like, just like just uh, taking the opportunity that uh, we're all like isolated to just try to uh, keep some contact with like uh, the outer world, doing that kind of stuff, like uh, streaming. So taking some good out of the the bad moments, and uh, that's it. Yeah, I'm doing good. Um, one of the lucky guys who have still have a job, I would say. So I just continue to work for Behavior interactive during the, the day and I keep on like doing uh, personal walks or um, uh, commissions work uh, by night by usual Yes, I will use it uh, for inspiration. Actually, uh, it's part of that my, uh, my new spaceship uh, illustrations. You can find like uh, their That's kind of that. Uh, what I'm doing right now, I'm just having fun doing a, a fake world about spaceships in a distant future with uh, my own designs and stuff like that, so I'm just really uh, enjoying that. And I did post, like, I think, uh, early on, yeah, that's that's the, the ship uh, I did, and this is part of the this illustration right now. So the idea is, like, those kind of uh, fast, uh, small fighters are taking down that big, huge uh, whale 
uh, ship in the back. So I'm just doing all the elements before doing the composition in Keshat. <laughs> Cheers. And that's that's going to be also like to, to be like there is going to be like that pilot. That is going to be more like a acid in the foreground, checking his uh, wingmates while they are taking down the, the spaceship. So it's a, I like to do like a full story inside one illustration, and the idea is just to go like a full like a different designs of uh, space uh, ship units and uh, some uh, that makes sense basically. So they all have like uh, come from like a different kind of a manufacturer stuff like that. So I think I did that there. The idea is just to do like a book in the end. Where is it? I did like uh, an answer. So I, I'm going to even to add like uh, some blueprints like that. Those blueprints, blueprints are one of the shaders from like uh, a ZBrush. But just you do your changes, changes and that's it. <clears throat> and uh, I want to do some big illustrations like this, some blueprints, and also like some uh, re going to expose some uh, research of like uh, different kind of designs. So that's it, just like a spaceship book, very like into like the line of the Terran Trade Authority, if you can uh, know that one. Those were like books from the 70s, Terran Trade Authority, that's it. So I'm really like into that, and that's one of the, my secrets when I do like uh, designs. Little hint of the day is I try to always keep like the whole picture, so it's like a big project. I may I might just uh, make it uh, till the end. I'd like to, maybe not. But the idea is that just I want to do that that kind of book. So those are very like uh, from the 70s. They had those books coming from different kind of artists put together into one kind of a fictional universe. Well, uh, I'm not good in perspective in study, so and I really like to do like uh, I'm more like a 3D artist than uh, more like a modeler than uh, than a, a painter. So I really like to do uh, to go that way because I can go like in details and uh, even like reuse a lot my work from one to another and change the angle. Something you can't really do like in uh, in painting. I've always been, always been a, a modular artist. And I can be pretty fast too. 28 people already. Hey, welcome to the Space Knights, guys. I'm continuing that uh, spaceship uh, battle. I think it's going to be like more, like, I don't know. It's maybe like related to some kind of a blockade. At the, uh, somewhere in, in in space, we'll see. And I, I want to do like uh, some like a text just uh, supporting the the expression too. So I don't need to go too much in detail because there's going to be like a huge explosion in the middle of that. And for now, I'm just being lazy. I'm just going to do that uh, post comp. So I'm going to uh, chase for like some uh, references of explosions. I'm going to uh, do that in Photoshop after that. And then I'm going to go on the next one. And on the next one, till I'm just like have a, have like, enough expressions to do a book. That would be cool. And the music is from uh, Eva Nine soundtrack. <laughs> Cheers. But I just started, you know, like, so I have like a lots of followers, so it's cool. 
and uh, I'm just I'm just getting started, and it's I think it's very hard to find like people around in uh, on Twitch. So I just started maybe five uh, three weeks ago, something like that. So, and basically, you know, what I'm doing right now is right there is something I've I've been doing for years. It's basically I'm doing that all day, uh, all night long. It's maybe like not all the nights, but uh, pretty much a, 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 f a few by week. And uh, I thought, well, you know, I do that anyways, so why not stream it? So you can just guys like ask questions. You can discuss uh, science fiction. We can geek around stuff like that. So that's cool. That's nice. I want to have like some more like uh, panels around, so I feel more like uh, it's being blown away. So I'm going to take that one back, and I show you like uh, just after that a few uh, cool techniques uh, I'm, I'm using to do like a more uh, a detailed pass on that uh, ship, and also like how I just uh, find a way to find out cut out everything in the, in the brush quite easily knowing that uh, it's uh, an illustration not something that's going to be like in a game or a movie or whatever so it's very fake-ish but it works sipping some tea you need your tea Dark Tador tea. Hey Andrew. So, hey Andrew, your your um, portfolio review was uh, quite successful. Did you make it? <laughs> Cheers. Thanks for the host. You want to see the alien host again, right? I kept there there just for you. So you're good now? You, you you move to the next level or not? Oh, nice. Damn, what a grind. Really? So you have to hit the 75 uh, uh, online and then you have to, uh, you, you have to keep that. <laughs> oh yes, fabulous. Wow, they, they won't say enough to you anyways. Sorry, it's just music is just too loud for me. You can't hear me uh, talking. That's a new spaceship, but still for the for the same scene with the big like uh, fast ships I did uh, last week. 
So it's like all part of the same uh, of, of the same um, illustration. Yeah. I went a bit too far on that one, but anyways. Oh. Okay. and they're going to kind of destroy that big well Christmas like spaceship so I did that one in the one piece and then I'm creating basically new ones like kind of a debris and stuff and I'm going to use that of that It's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm just going to uh, those ships are going to come up with like some uh, some backstories and stuff like that. So not like a full story because I'm not a real writer, but. Uh, Certainly, like some uh, background stories, and you know it. I I'll see how it goes. But yeah, that that's the plan. So I'm just cutting bits right now. And uh, after that, I'm going to be done. I'm so going to put like some big lights inside that and a big explosion, so there is not going to be like much coming. I'm not going to keep it much from there, but uh, that will do the trick. Mm. So merging everything all together. What the hell?
Do. All right, so next step we're going to add a few more small details on the ship. Now, next step I'm going to save. Okay, so we saved. So that's a little trick to add like a spaceship gribble details without getting to have like to pass like hours on it. I'm just doing like this, did that uh, little alpha there. And uh, basically, I'm ju I just need to just add a few details like that. I don't have tips right now. What kind of tips are you looking for? Tips how to be successful in life? I don't have that one. I do want to hear my, myself to that one. Hard, hard work, luck, and uh, never say no. Oh yeah, but fun too, you know, you just, you can enjoy what you're doing, just but be constant with your work. Yeah, most of you guys know my work, so I just, I just, you know, that I've, I've been around like uh, for a few decades now, and uh, I'm still learning. That's, that's, if you get that, like a guy like me saying that, you know, you, you understand, it's just, it's, it's is the reality of uh, of the work we still keep on learning and having fun when i started you know, there was no zbrush and i'm just like uh, using kind of the techniques i was kind of trying to use on uh, other softwares but i, I just applied that to, to the brush and it's basically go straight to what you need because i'm doing again illustrations and I'm more like an illustrator than a uh, concept artist. I do concept art, but uh, in the same kind of a fashion way. When I was working for um, Aquaman, the movie, I, I was just, just doing that, you know, like uh, sketching 3D characters. Uh, and it worked well. I, I can be fast. And it's quite easier for, for that for me to do like a few more iterations and stuff like that. <coughs> yeah, my persistence is the main thing. So yeah, um, again, Andrew, you know that uh, kind of a perfect review. I might try that uh, that one too because uh, people really like that, and uh, I think they they like to learn from uh, professionals in the industry, I guess. So it could be interesting.
So to keep your level, you just need to do that a few more times uh, in the next month and you should be uh, totally fine. But we are like, when I'm doing like uh, those kind of, there's kind of a two uh, portfolio review for me. It's just one where I just like give advices and you know, like even like uh, hints how to improve your stuff. And I think that that one is cool. And the one, the other one is more like the pure, like you know, like uh, no change this, change that, like uh, just to to improve a portfolio. But there's many ways to improve a portfolio anyway. So. And yeah, you see like so many common mistakes in the portfolios. That's that's crazy. So yeah, I, I can help on that. Don't the, the the do and don'ts basically. Rule number one: Don't fucking steal the work of others. It happened. That was like a fun story. Because the guy who stole the walk was stealing my own walk. You don't know who I was. Imagine how fun it was. Yeah, we're good there too. And you have to explain how you, know, you can just do like a mic sync thing. One day. Okay, so now we have like uh, enough like uh, tiny details around like that. So what I'm going to do is going. To, I'm going to make sure that because that doesn't translate well in the in the in the rendering sometimes. So I do that little trick at this at this point. I do mask by smoothness. I'm just going to select all the edges. See, just there, like for the painting, how useful it is. I have my gribber already there. Just going to push it a little more, pushing it. Oh, that, yeah, you took your time, I guess. That's seriously what, what those guys are thinking. Because if you try to sell yourself with something you never did, so I just do it like a little inflate there, see? One, maybe two. Three is too big. I think one, one is fine. Yeah, so it just pushes more the edges. It's more interesting. Yeah, no, yeah, that's it. I think I finished my, my interview with uh, my, my thief with something like uh, don't even try to, to think you're going to be able to work in the industry anymore. Change life. Get out. I was like, I was just like roasting him. I just like, oh, that's interesting. How did you did that? You know, like, oh. like seriously. And then when I started to confront him, it was like, it was like, but that's no, you you didn't do that one, right? I said, no, 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 it's me. Just that. no, no, seriously, guy, stop it. I know you didn't do it. He's <laughs> like, oh no, no, I did just like. Okay, last chance. Uh, and say, no, no, I don't see why you're saying that. So just because the guy who just did that is just in front of you. And his jaws just like uh, dropped. And yeah, just not mine only, but just like uh, some from other guys I knew. So it was just associated.
the fun in industry. But I think it's sad here, I just said, I don't like to do that, and it's just like, but damn, we looked for it. Okay, so that's nice. So let's see, we had like a nice full non so detailed like big whale spaceship and now we have a broken one with way more details if you check on it that's cool so now i'm going to start to paint that uh, that ship so for that i need my textures and uh, i'm going to take the, that all I want to go with blue thing. Let's go. So what I do right now? Oh yes, it is. I always like uh, do spaceships with that uh, that soundtrack, it's, and it's twelve hours. So it's just it's perfect. Thirty-three people. Thanks, guys. So my idea there today is just to finish that one spaceship then we to go through the painful process of just trying to get everything in the same scene and then i'm going to be able to just go in key shot so we are almost there next part is a bit long so we we'll see how it goes Okay, cool. So I'm just going to like uh, do a fast pass like that. Selfie, <clears throat> yeah, seriously, just go with a bender, and, and when you learn about it, you, you're going to teach me how to use it, right? But yeah, no, it's a, it's a very cool uh, from the guys I'm working with who just using it, and I saw them like using it for a few years now, and uh, yeah, I think that that's a very nice entry uh, software because it does it all and better than uh, many others, and it's free so. And more and more studios are using it, by the way. Uh, we pushed it on, in our production at uh, Behavior. And, it, you know, no complaints so far. It's good for so many things. And uh, they keep up on the just, like, just improving many aspects of the software. So, yeah, definitely a uh, one to, to, to use. And it's very, like, uh, I say, video games oriented. So you have to be like uh, a bit like in the industry.
as well. Thanks. And even the spaceship is a bit like a uh, very like, uh, Christmas related, but I wanted to do like uh, that style in my in my uh, little universe. So yeah, definitely Christmas. Not shying away from the references. So now that I just did that first pass, I'm just going to, you know, isolate some elements. Always been a big, big uh, admirer of uh, Christmas. Got the chance to <coughs> meet him once. An amazing dude. Like a melee or no? <laughs> Just sending my wife behind that camera is on. Yes, they are. They are very friendly and very inspiring. <laughs> that was my other son passing by to say bye bye. See, I'm just really like painting the whole thing like that. Just try to isolate some shapes. And then you'll see using the little pass I did with the relief before that, with the alpha, it's going to be like super easy to, to get like a very nice uh, gribble effect on the top of all of that later on. The B. Right now I'm just trying to do like the both sides because I don't know which size the, the vehicle is going to be shown in the final illustration. going to add a few uh, going to save there's going to have a few like uh, you know like symbols signs whatever and uh, then I do the little detail pass quite fast 
and uh, and voila and after that it's going to be time to just merge everything all together into the one scene that I'm going to export in KShot because I wonder in KShot. You know what? No more blue there. That. Let's go. I could do that for like uh, hours, I love it. Doing that uh, tissue of uh, past now. Numbers, some little things like that. Symbols, let's go with that. Sometimes just simple like uh, little shapes like that just give like the sense of depth, uh, sense work of uh, scale, sorry, of the spaceship. Let's go. See you. Uh, well, follow me and uh, you will see more. I'm going to be around for like a while anyways. Just having fun doing that, so uh, that's my new thing now. Thanks for passing by. So let's go with like a symbol, a number. What do you think that one would do? in front obviously thanks for following it sorry I didn't see you
exact reverse over the one that's gray. That's it. There we go. Down. It depends on your level. Uh, most of the um, good ones, I say, still the, the Centronade. And Dawson University, University is not bad. My son is already like uh, working there, it's like uh, first year. So you, you start with like uh, first uh, University, CEGEP. And then you you continue with uh, something like the Centronade. It's very it's very good. So I know about it because my son is going passing through all that these days. I really like the, the what what they're uh, teaching at uh, at this school. McGill University. There you go. You're lucky because uh, a year ago I have like no clue. By the way, it's always okay to have no clue, not knowing stuff, especially in art. Sometimes if my artist coming and say asking for something specific, I'm like I have no idea. Coming back at you when I when I know. Art director at Behavior right now. Been there like for one year. I so enjoyed. Best move ever. Okay, it's cool. Yes, there is free coffee. Yeah, you know your stuff. Free coffee. They got me a free coffee.
Ok. So I think I'm almost there. I'm just fixing a few annoying things I see. You see how things are going to go well just after that. So I think I'm good with that, and now what I'm going to do, what I'm going to do from the building, is masking in, last base mostness, getting by, back my uh, little edges selected in masking, and then I'm going to gray out that, light gray. Very subtle. All over the place. Right. So see there, that gives me like a, some very nice details. I could even go a little more later or darker. Let's see. If I go darker, it's going to be a bit too much. No, there is like a story behind all ships are going to do. That's that's the this one is going to be like a part of a kind of the, uh, composition I'm doing right now. We tried to force a blockade and, and that's what happened. There you go, see it's super nice. I'm just going to add a little more like dirt around uh, the exhaust for sure.
okay so that's quite cool that's nice so let's keep that yep like it so now i just need to uh, insert the rest of the the elements so to save that one So this is the uh, dealership, it just needs a few like uh, stickers around for this one too. So those are like the ones who are going to be at attacking the big whale. So I'm just going... Hello the Gruber, thanks uh, for following. some uh, decals on this one I'm just going to finish the, the this ring on that uh, that ship before getting into putting everything into one scene and export it to a uh, key shot. So I'm going to do the lighting after that. See, it's going to be a hell of a complex one. So I expect lots of uh, French swearing if things go wrong.
So this is the spaceship night and I'm finishing all the elements I need to do my scene in Kesha right now. And this one is a very complex spaceship because it has also like a, a full cockpit with a pilot inside. But I need to uh, repaint, so let's go with that. And also the cockpit, I'd like to uh, do something about it. I don't, don't want it to be like all yellow. going to use the same trick as I did for uh, the, the other spaceship for, for those who were there. Just going to just put everything more simple shades. I want the copy to be more like darker, stuff like that. I don't need to be precise, you'll see why later on. Hey Wukor! Wukto, thanks! Uh, my thoughts! Can't wait! I really can't wait. Is there? Wait, there is new uh, toilet um, toilets out. Don't tell me that they're going to stop everything and crying for ice cream. Yeah, I can't wait. Really, I'm sure it's going to be like good. All the shots I saw so far, it was like very, very like uh, dune like. You know, I'm really happy with that. A bit modern, but uh, you know, it's okay. I won't complain. Yet it has consistency and feels like uh, very, very, very strong, solid visually. Can't wait to see more. I think we should have a very soon, uh, a trailer very soon. And maybe I could just go like with a, a night, have like a lots of things on the lunar, even like the, the um, Shodorovsky's cool uh, little uh, backstory and stuff like that. So go on like uh, for a full night of uh, space dune geek for sure. Okay, so the guy is going to be 
very small the whole details I have but I want to let's see to paint the whole military thing and he's going to be blue skin because I like my guys to be blue skins don't ask it's just that he No, so I think it's going to be great. Okay, so that's cool. Let's see now. Everything is totally great. Don't worry. Why this thing is still like a... Uh... I'm lost. What's that? It's easy to paint, but that one, for whatever reason, doesn't want to be painted. Excuse me. How come I can paint that one? Oh, okay. That was a bit like I can have a select and whatever. Okay, cool. Fixed. So, just going to add a little, a little a few details there.
Okay. So, uh, when you think we're going to see the, the new trailer, I think we should see it quite soon. In a few weeks, like, should happen. Because they started to release like all those uh, cool shots, so now it's like, uh, come on, take your. Two left shoes. <laughs> nice surname. That's nice. Nice tag. Welcome to the spaceship nights. Damn, I just passed. Time froze. When we have fun. Okay, cool. Nice. Oh, oh, someone just like uh, sub subscribed. Thanks a lot. I'm just waiting for the for the pop to uh, to show up, but uh, thanks a lot. It. Sorry about that. Ah, there you go. Alvaro Martin Lopez. Alvaro, sorry. Alvaro Martin Lopez. Thanks for uh, the sub. Thanks a lot.
Okay, that's good. We're there. And thank you, Renaud Garand. Your name rings a bell. Okay. Thirty-two. Forty-two. Why? You guys are just popping up at midnight, right? You're all like like me, light holes. Thanks for throwing. So I think that's okay. So now I just need to do like again that same pass I did uh on the other ship. So I'm going to do that on the cockpit. It's more way more detailed. That's cool. Saving maybe should be like a good idea at this point. So I need after that to save that ship, do a copy of that uh, little dude to do like a more like a less a less high res version with less. Uh, <clears throat> I'm going to remove the pilot and everything because they're going to be like more in the back. So I'm going to do like a, just a second one. At the big spaceship there, and then we go in K shot to start the big uh, composition scene. It's going to be interesting because I have no idea how I'm going to do that. Anyways, let's not stress out. Let's, just, let's start with that. There's one thing that still just bugs me is that, you know there what oh that's part of that ship so hmm Or better that way. Opposite. That would do. Thanks for joining. 
enjoy the show. I'm not talking much, sorry, I'm just concentrated. Mm -hmm. Just trying to get my thing right. So I'm just painting the edges right now. It's a cool trick I found just to create like way more like a just basically to just uh, take advantage of all the details. Hey, Tony Bright, so you don't see me know you. I am streaming, it's just like five of today. Cheers, just question Tony, how do you find me? Because uh, trying to figure out how we can just find people around there. Been streaming just for like uh, the, the last uh, three weeks. Very new about that. Thanks a lot. Hello, hell no. Thanks. Thanks a lot. Just trying my best. And I'm trying to enjoy it. Okay. Just, I'm just picking now because I'm trying to just finish that. I think I have like everything I need already. Since the 90s, wow, 
My god, you've been around all that time too. Good to know that I'm not the only dinosaur around. Thanks a lot. Very appreciated. It's true that at that time we were like, uh, it's just when like uh, everything started very like C talk, all that. That's fun. And voila. I'm just removing the elements I find a bit too much like to abuse, you know, that's it. Cool. And voila. Ta-da, cool. Saving that. Uh, you guys are too kind. Uh, still look young, you know. Still there. <clears throat> but yeah, I, I should have just do that kind of thing for a long time, but uh, my English being what it is, and uh, never had the time really to to find out how to deal with that whole like uh, stream. But it turns out it's it's quite easy actually, and very relaxed. I didn't expect it that, so yeah, very enjoying that. So I might do also like uh, like Andrew who is still around there I think did at certain point. Hello Big Moto, thanks for playing. Like doing some uh, portfolio reviews if you like you guys like that. You know, giving you like professional hints or something. My personal personal opinion on on the matter. All right. I won't have the keys for like uh, help you like uh, just get into the industry, but I can just certainly give you like some some good tricks, depending on what you do. Okay, there's enough little micro details here and there for me to be happy with, Cliff, and we like uh, that. So okay, okay, done. Uh, <clears throat> actually, they did, <clears throat> and maybe going to do that uh, in a few weeks. So I'm going to, but if I do that, I'm certainly going to go back with uh, something uh, more like a, my classic art with a a, playmate, a, a peanut or something. So uh, I see, you know, if you want to go with uh, for for the brush, uh, for yeah, for the, the guys at the brush to do uh, episode to do something along those lines, you know, a classic, just to show my process, it could be nice. This one is more like a new personal project and I'm just like uh, still exploring stuff, so it's more like, more like a private garden right now. 
Okay, so is that done? Stop fiddling around. I'm going to merge everything into one. Oh no, no, I won't. I need to keep that one done like that. So after that, I just need my cockpit and my spaceship. So I'm going to duplicate that one. Duplicate that one. Hello, how it changed. Thanks for following. So I just did like a it's little twin bother. That will do. We're going to append save append. No, I think it's, it's it's not that bad, you know. It's like uh, if you guys are <clears throat> when you check, is it very different when we are streaming or when we watch people streaming? Most of the time, you don't need people to stop all the time, you know. It's just like uh, you answer the questions, like I'm just doing right now, and uh, also you explain something specific when you're on it. But uh, I just also like explain what's my plan, stuff like that. But the rest. You don't need to talk much, and uh, it's really enjoyable. You should try. Right now, I just try picking back my my mind back. Just okay. So I just merge that too. And it's like totally like not there. I'm just going to move it back to the center of the scene so I can see where the hell it was. There you go. So I want that one to be like uh, quite large actually. Yeah, something like that. Cool. So I have my two ships, but I can just bring them after that in uh, in K shot. So I have my spaceship the first one with like my guy in middle that one is going to be there okay good to go save that one and because I'm for instance doing uh, that just for my illustration I don't need any of the optimizations in uh, stage or whatever or UVs or whatsoever, I'm just going to be lazily do render XLender key shot and do my binding 
uh, I just like, oh, I love that part of the, of the process now. Before that, I didn't have a um, uh, bridge, it was a search, then it has, so I just like, just, I can talk and just everything is going to be there. The music background is coming from, uh, no, it's just YouTube in the back, and it's uh, um, even like, even nine soon track, 12 hours, go for it. Very strong 40 viewers, so thanks, guys. <clears throat> By the way, why well, we are just uh, it's just loading right now. Look at that. Ooh. That's my new uh, like the second head for my mascot. It's super easy. That thing there just like kill someone just by sending that in the. It's crazy, super, super heavy. So that that's just like to 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 keep them my second head like that. That super fucking nice. It's been one year a uh, year. It's been out. We just did the anniversary. But uh, yeah, I love it. And I'm going to have the the second one soon. The the Jack. So, okay, so of course the scene is totally like off the shots, but I don't care. You can scale things back a bit, that's cool. I'm going to scale that one. Now I'm using Keyshot. Keyshot is just a renderer and was one of the best run because it's super fast. So I need to do a lot of uh, cleaning there, but uh, let's go with that. First is by default, all my shaders are just very bad shaders. So then just go back to a simple classic one. So lots of those are prefab already already done, but they are already like uh, you can just change them very very easily. Camera, you can do if I create a new camera, maybe just just set the camera target where I want. So after that, when I turn, I'm just turning from that point of view, so it's quite easy, as simple as that. It took me two months to just realize you could do that. It's fine. Yeah, which is... Okay, so they're going to be like, uh, my idea is like that one is going to be just something like that in the scene, just checking on his friends, just taking down that big one there. That's, that's the plan anyways. So I'm just going to stage the lighting and stuff like that for tonight and uh, call it a day. And I'm just going to do a rendering and tomorrow we're going to see just, I'm going to go on Photoshop and do the other the last pass of the, the project. Exciting.
by default it's kind of annoying because everything is not block of material so I just have to chase that Tedious, but if I don't do that, that particular advanced material is has some uh, alpha issues. After that, I have to fix so many things. After that, so you can ask me questions why I'm doing that uh, tedious process. I know that I can, I can merge things together, but I, I might just mix, mix up the, some of my materials. Almost done. Let's save that. Cool. So, the other thing I want to add there. I'm going to add like some uh, shaders that are also like lights, emissives for instance. Hmm, that's a new one, it just crashed. No. I did like uh, something to be okay. Yeah, so I just to highlight like my cockpit. Let's go. If I bring back. That one there. Okay, now I'm just going to change the lighting. There we go. Oh, 
Okay, so then unlearned. Shadows. So many parameters everywhere, but that's fine. So I'm going to keep also like that the other one as per the actual I like, the vertical one, portrait. Maybe too much. So, now it's going to be fun. To fix spaceships, I'm going to move it in the back. Oh, shoot. It's many pieces, right? Uh -huh. Okay, so to do that, I need to just. Well, well, it's just like two, two sets. Yeah. Sometimes you're fighting for the, the wrong reasons. So if I want them to go like from uh, Diagonal like that. I should do like a counter diagonal. Interesting thing. When well, you don't know where you're going, check the the masters. They have the answers, the answers for you. So let's go there. Rest. <clears throat> I'm looking for kind of a similar scene. Yeah, Camp Kennedy is like that. Yeah, yeah. The Boba Fett, I just used that book like so, so much because I was so in love with that 
the story was good and also like the proportions of the guys were like so amazing and uh, yeah definitely you want to uh, to read and Capitan Lee's uh, it's been like a, my master for a long time there you go I want that kind of explosion stuff with big debris everywhere It's not actually too much of that kind of a, yeah, I want kind of a vague, but I, I like that angle. Let's keep that angle. Okay, Oh, yeah, that's cool. Got that one right. Save it. Hello, Dradio. Thanks for following. And actually, it's just a bit late, so I'm going to have to stop, guys. But uh, just see come on. What the hell is that? Okay. So when I'm doing that, I'm going to just save that camera. You can save cameras in the in Keyshot, that's very useful. What is cool with a uh, key shot too is you can use so many instances. Never really like, saw the limit of uh, what it could do like in terms of uh, polygons.
Okay. Now let's take a look around. Can you do fixed camera in JetShot? Yes, you do. <clears throat> but for instance, just there, that's in camera. You, you have that kind of a you um preset scan. You can just create new ones, move them, and then you save them, and then you lock them. So after that, you only go from one to another. You just keep through your presets, basically. Hmm. Let's go to well then I'm just going to just go crazy on that one I'm sure. Yeah, and the fact you can just also like lock your camera very useful to do that kind of a angle I wanted to to, to do in the, in the final shot. basically that and the rest of the scene are going to move it after that. So what I did there just is just go faster after locking that camera on that guy there. Like that kind of a angle there. I go to my scene and I just sorted the whole uh, scene differently so I can just move the rest easily. So I'm going to uh, copy paste a lot of those guys So at least have like uh, 5 of them So I can just call that the phalange
So what do you think, guys? That's starting to look good, right? It does, quite cool. I'm happy with that, it's, it's cool. I just need to place that one a little better. It's better at an angle like that, see? It's just making shows that they just like pierced through the guy. And with explosion, it's going to be like even more dramatic, so. That's cool. It's very void. Uh, I fight more with that one, but uh, I quite like what I'm just seeing, so it's cool. <laughs> Save ya. Just uh, I'm just creating a second camera just to see if I need to just change things a little more. Also, like just see if uh, yeah, it's more perspective maybe.
agreed. I did actually um, um, a little commission work for them, the Mind Sky. Yeah, I kind of like that one too, that's cool. Yeah. But uh, you would run uh, after that if you do that. You would run a uh, Pac-Man in the back. You know, like uh, don't don't trust the hype. You know, like it's not saying just it looks fucking phenomenal. But like the way they did, they did. But uh, there's uh, some realities in the production where I don't know. Like uh, you need some CPU to just run just all the rest. So I just need to be convinced that it's not again like uh, you know having the just industry so long that uh, we have like amazing demos on Apigia too. You know, I'm just saying. So we just go keep something very like straight like that. I like the fact that it's, it's the too cinematic. I like it more like illustrative. So you know that kind of lighting there is more dramatic. It's cool, but it doesn't. Understanding what I'm saying, and I need to put later on like a, a big light there just to create the explosion. But I'm going to stop there now. And it was like super cool to have you guys around. That was like a very good stream. Thanks a lot. And I'm going to polish a few more things and I'm going to hit render. So thanks for your time. It's like a one. I'm going to die. Okay, see you around. Thanks a lot for um, joining the stream and uh, see you tomorrow.